Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Scott Wing. I'm hosting the uh, event, uh, the Alumni and Mentorship Program. We are here at the Dell High Center in Santa Ana. And uh, what we're doing today is that we are setting up an event where we establish a whole networking system and within the uh, Vietnamese Buddhist youth community so that we can get um, other young individuals to get access to those who uh, uh, already uh, be, became successful before them. Uh, we have different modules anywhere from technology to education, from entrepreneurship to, uh, uh, um, to health. And uh, with that aspect, uh, we uh, open up the forum for the young individuals, uh, high school students, college students, to be able to reach out to those that went before them and uh, be able to network with them, learn from them, and uh, become a mentee so those, uh, uh, this, uh, the professionals would be able to help them out in the long run. Um, à, chúng tôi là Nguyễn Xuân Hiệp, à, huynh trưởng của gia đình Phật tử miền Quảng Đức. À, ngày hôm nay là chương trình à, Alumni and Mentorship Program. Chúng tôi đang có mặt tại hội trường của Dell High Center, thành phố Santa Ana. Và chương trình này à, à, là để cho à, các em học sinh trung học và đại học, cũng giống như những anh chị mà đã thành công, à, những anh chị còn à, đang đi làm, vừa mới đi làm thôi, có cơ hội để tiếp xúc với lại những người đã đi trước họ và học hỏi được những cái à, à, bài học À, à, những bài học thành công và những bài học à, thất bại luôn à, để làm sao mà họ có cơ hội à, network tức là tạo một cái mạng lưới à, và có thể à, tìm hiểu thêm về cái ngành nghề mà mình muốn thì ngày hôm nay chúng tôi à, à, nghĩ rằng là có cả chừng à, 300 người tham dự à, và chương trình à, chúng tôi sẽ bắt đầu trong vòng giây lát một tí xíu nữa thôi à, hiện giờ thì à, các em và các à, 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 các anh chị họ đang à, network với nhau, họ đang à, nối kết với nhau và tìm hiểu thêm à, về, về về những ngành nghề mà họ đang đeo đuổi. À, và chúng tôi xin kính chào à, toàn thể quý à, khán giả của Đài VNTV. For gia đình Phật tử, I have been here for around 3 years. They had exposed um, me to a lot of uh, to experience other things such as hiking, making friends, how to socialize with people and um, I found it to be very enjoy enjoyable and um, I have learned a lot of lessons from just hanging out, hanging around with them, learning, uh, learning with them, and uh, spending time with them. Uh, my name is Mark Tran, and I represent uh, Yan Futa Vien Quang. And during I joined uh, Yan Futa uh, in 2017, and my experience with Yan Futa is that that my leader inspired me to be a better person and and helping other people in the community and it also make me much a more better person in a way that I became more open-minded and diverse about other things and yeah that's my experience with Yarn Phật Tử. Dạ, kính chào tất cả quý liệt vị. Tôi là Nguyễn Thuyết Lê Minh Thi, trưởng bằng nhận miền Quảng Đức, gia đình Phật Tử miền Quảng Đức. À, hôm nay chúng tôi đến dự là vì trong gia đình Phật tử có một số em à, đứng ra để tổ chức à, à, cái chương trình này. Cái chương trình này chúng tôi cảm thấy rất là hữu ích, giúp ích cho một số các em học trung học và đại học để các em tiến lên đến con đường tương lai. À, nhưng mà khi mà các em đi học, rồi các em cũng à, đi tham gia gia đình Phật tử. Vì như vậy, chúng tôi rất là hoan nghênh và muốn hỗ trợ cho cái chương trình này cho được càng ngày càng phát triển mạnh mẽ. Dạ, xin chào. À, Nam Mô Bổn Sư Thích Ca Mâu Ni Phật. À, chúng tôi là một huynh trưởng từ Việt Nam. À, thật sự ra là chúng tôi đến Hoa Kỳ 10 năm rồi, nhưng mà chưa có cái duyên được gặp anh chị em trong gia đình Phật tử tổ chức một cuộc họp nào. Hôm nay thì cuộc họp này được tổ chức với cái tinh thần là giúp cho các em nó có thêm cái kiến thức để mà vào đại học. Chúng tôi thấy một cái chương trình rất là thực tế và rất là hữu ích. Cho nên chúng tôi rất là quan nghen và xin góp phần ủng hộ về tinh thần cũng như có thể là về chút ít vật chất. Rất là tán thắng cái tinh thần của anh em đã đứng ra tổ chức cái chương trình này. À, xin chân thành chúc tất cả anh chị em chúng ta thành công. Dạ, xin chân rộng. Dạ.
Kính thưa quý vị, chúng tôi là Billy Lee, đại diện cho văn phòng tránh lục sự quận Cam, ông Hiếu Nguyễn ngồi bên cạnh với chúng tôi. Thì ngày hôm nay à, phải nói rằng rất là vui được vinh dự để mà ngồi kế bên à, ban tổ chức à, và cũng như là cùng ban tổ chức có một cái à, buổi chương trình để giúp cho các em học sinh à, trung học để chuẩn bị cho con đường đời của các em về vấn đề à, học vấn. Thì à, ngày hôm nay à, có à, trên tránh lục sự Hiếu Nguyễn à, đến đây. À, không biết là tránh lục sự, can you say a few words about the event today and uh, how you feel? Yeah. Uh, Hiếu bữa nay mừng quá lại bữa nay uh, để support make em yeah, làm bữa nay nên hiếu mừng quá lại bữa nay thank you chúng em xin làm phép uh, có lời mở đầu bằng tiếng anh đến với chương trình của chúng ta và cũng xin tất cả quý vị thông cảm uh, rằng chương trình của chúng ta sẽ có nhiều phần anh ngữ phần ngoại ngữ xin trân trọng kính cảm ơn good afternoon ladies and gentlemen leaders of today and tomorrow a wise man known as buddha One said, one moment can change a day, one day can change a life, and one life can change the world. As yet, for the leaders treading the course of our busy lives, we had realized that moments that we once heard from auntie, woman, from your leaders, your brother and sister, that's operated under uh, Bodhiyan Foundation, it's a 501c nonprofit. We cover the alumni. We also offer mentorship. We offer the scholarship. And we also offer the sponsorship. Now you might wonder, what is it about mentors, uh, about, about alumni that we're talking about here? Allow me to flip the page. 18 years old, you guys. 18 years old, we ask you to attend training camp, right? And uh, right there, that's the time you have to do your college application. Right? We tell you, make sure you study for camp, but go ahead and apply for college on your own. We're just going to give you a couple of tips here and there. But uh, mostly of the work, and I'll say this truthfully, you're gonna, you guys are going to have to do the application mostly on your own. 18 years old, you became the leader under uh, the, 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 the statue of Buddha, under the presence of Manti, under uh, your own oath, you became a winter. 18 years old, I attended the training camp. I was the only one. I don't know, but that seems to be less than 1%. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll throw the, a little bit more than 1%. Queen Dan, right over here, 27 years old. There's a 4% retention rate, right? And we're training you guys for the future of tomorrow, and yet we get a 4% retention rate? That's a problem, right? We all see that. So how do we find a solution for that? I have a proposition. It may work, it may not work, but at least we have a solution. So let's go right down to it. What if, what if I propose this? What if I'm gonna assist you through this medium of Yedem Fukdo and Bodhi Foundation? Now understand this, you guys. Yedem Fukdo, whether it's under Bodhi Media, which is a subsidiary of Bodhi Foundation, or under Yedem Fukdo Foundation, it serves one purpose. It's to serve the other people and serve you guys, right? Only then that we can serve other people because you cannot give something unless you have it. What is the first thing, I, and I say to this you guys, right? What is the first thing you wanna do if you wanna give somebody a dollar? Gotta have a dollar, right? You wanna give compassion, wisdom, courage, all that stuff, you have to have it. You wanna give love, you gotta have it. You want to give uh, caring for someone, you got to at least care for yourself, right? You got to start somewhere first. So through this medium, I think that Yedem Fukdo operates, uh, you know, on our own path. And Bodhi Foundation or Bodhi Media, we complement that. So what if, going through this cycle, we're going to assist you with college application. We, us sitting in right here, we're going to assist you guys. With college application. Uh, I just want to tell you a little bit, it's amazing that there's a program like this to help you students. Uh, right now, you know, in high school, I love high school. I play sports, and so anytime Scotty wants to play me in basketball, I'll challenge him anytime. I was pretty good in basketball in high school myself, so anytime Scotty, set it up. <laughs> Ask him. So, all I can tell you is, I came over here with nothing. We had a folder, a folder, 
and becoming the first Vietnamese American county clerk recorded in the United States is a big accomplishment for me. So if I can do that, I know you guys can. And with the support of ODM and all Scotty and the group, everybody's involved, your parents, don't ever let anybody tell you you can't do what you want to do. Like I said, dream big. Be a doctor. Be a lawyer. Be a judge. I know a lot of good judges that are Vietnamese, right? Just don't be a politician like I am. It's really tough. Uh, I was kind of forced in it because I, I started my career in the county in 94, and I just worked my way up and eventually being elected. But it was tough. And I, I'll let you know real quick because you guys are still young, but if you're born in Orange County, we have your birth certificate. Right. Right? If you want to get married someday, no rush. I'm the commissioner of marriage. We can marry you any time. My office, you have to come to my office to get your marriage license and ceremony. And for business owners, fictitious business name. If you buy a home in Orange County, you have to record it with my office. So with the reason why I want to tell you about my office is we do do internship. And I'm always looking forward to helping young generation that are our future, like Scotty said, you are our future. Put your heart and mind to it, you can do it. So you can contact one of my staff, Billy, and if you want to do internship, uh, you're welcome to. Matter of fact, we have three internship right now in our office right now. So I just wanna say, you know, just dream big, work hard, give your parents a big hug. They're your biggest supporter and your friends. Hang out with people who believe in you. Guys, these are the leaders. Các anh, các chị, chúng ta không có biết tiếng Anh nhiều. Các anh chị, chúng ta biết đủ để làm công của ta như vậy. Nhưng mà tiếng Anh nó không có được may mắn như chúng ta. They are as lucky as we are. To be able to, to live here this long, we want to speak the language. Nhưng mà các anh, các chị vẫn đến đây với chúng ta để thấy coi em của mình nó làm được những cái gì và làm cái gì để giúp cho các em của mình. Chúng em một lần nữa kính cảm ơn tất cả quý anh, quý chị và nhờ có quý anh, quý chị mới là cái động lực cho chúng em để tiếp tục đi về phía trước. Dạ, cảm ơn các anh, quý chị. Cảm ơn. Guys, give them a bigger round of applause for our brothers and sisters, our leaders, okay? Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here after một ngày đi đi sinh hoạt. I have my two nữ, my own two nữ here too, and so she's tired, and I know you are too, okay? But then it is a very, it's, it's focused time, and we will make the best of it. Um, thank you to Bodiam Foundation to connect us together so we can be here today. Uh, my name is Katie, um, or uh, for those that know me, call me Yung, yeah? I am a business consultant, and I am an adjunct professor. What does that mean? What does that mean? I teach at college. That's it. Part time. That's it. And other than that, I am a business consultant. Who knows what a business consultant do? It is a person who helps you start up your own business, or like gives you advice and stuff. Keep it. This is an idle group. Thank you. That's part of what we do. So we are businesses. What else do we do? What else do we do? We're really looking for ways to improve their business, to utilize different factor techniques that you may know to better their business that you've learned from your experience helping other businesses. You can say, well, you can change this, and it's worked for me before. I have a track record of helping businesses. I would use that on my resume. Thank you so much. This is for you. Thank you. She's so good. I'm going to use that on my resume. I never, I never knew I could be that. Thank you. Oh, God, oh, now I'm joy. I went the cold song, joy, John, joy. Joy, my name, Joe, God, I am now. Joy, my name, Joe, God, I am now. Good evening, you guys. Uh, this is my counterpart, Tiffany Hatback. 
that cup covered at home and you said, tell your mom, these are from Vietnam. We need to drink beet sauces that we know exactly where it come from, especially the USA, right? So if you go to the store, when you get out there and when you talk to um, Philip, and actually Philip and his mom is the one that actually do the um, formulation for the sauces, for the fish sauce. So for the science out there, that if you like formula, you like, especially if you like math, like science, you can always think, what can I do? What can I make that is healthy? And so I assist them with all the correct licensing with the county, state, FEA, um, for them to get the sauces out there. So the sauces that you see out on the table are all USA made, and we're very proud of it. So please come. Visit us, we'll tell you more about it. Yep, Becky, xin kính chào quý vị, quý ông bà và anh chị em. Uh, my name is Becky Nguyen. I'm the executive director of a nonprofit organization. Um, it is the Vietnamese American Cancer Foundation. It was started simply by doctors who are in the community who started to practice uh, oncology. Oncology is a medical field where you care for people with uh, cancer. And that's how our organization got started. Um, as for me, I started off in business, but like Tiffany has said, take some time, figure out what you like, and then go for what you really enjoy. What's your passion? It took me about 25 years to realize that I enjoy public health. Do you know what public health is? Yes. What is it? What is that? We care for the public, right? And that's what it is. We provide education, we provide methods, strategies on how to improve our health and stay healthy. Imagine this, the streets you're walking past, how long should that light stay on green? That's public health. When you have a ramp, to go down the street for the people who use wheelchair, that's public health. And public health is when you're as a young child having to get immunization, vaccination. That's public health because we want to prevent disease. We really wanted everyone to stay healthy. So that's public health. <coughs> À, vợ chồng chúng tôi, bác sĩ uh, Chính và bác sĩ Thảo có, có mặt hôm nay. Uh, we are here to share uh, with uh, the young uh, generation about uh, our passion for, for being a doctor. So let's first uh, with uh, who uh, in here in our audience target who is going to be a doctor? Who wants to be a doctor? I told Dr. Thank you, Yung that uh, we will offer the internship and observation for all the young generation in the body uh, foundation. Thank so thank you for your time. Kính thưa các anh chị, xin chào em là Trương Bích Thái, là một cựu huynh trưởng của gia đình thực tử mới đầu là của Chánh Kiến, sau này là Hoa Nghiên và San Diego. Thì bây giờ là em là giáo sư ở USC. À, thì uh, xin phép các anh chị là em dùng tiếng Anh để nói với mấy em à, thì uh, có có một vài cái message của em á, một vài cái cái uh, sẽ 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 gọi là gửi gắm đến các anh chị uh, chút xíu nữa lúc đó em sẽ đổi thành tiếng Việt. À, I'm sure là các anh chị cũng hiểu tiếng Anh được rồi trong thành tiếng Việt. Ok, so guys, while we waiting for the uh, the slide to come up, a quick introduction and there's three of us and we I was told it's five minutes of each, so it's gonna be really rapid fire. Ok, so but seek us out during the uh, the uh, Networking, whatever, right? Okay. So um, I came to America uh, when I, well, I finished eighth grade in Vietnam. I came here in San Diego uh, high school throughout high school years, um, and then just like a lot of các anh huynh that you guys know, uh, you know, uh, high school years when we first came to America, it's pretty tough, right? But on the other hand, I, I consider it 
All right, it's, it's, everybody went through this, right? Just to give you a couple of points. Um, so uh, I worked my first job as uh, the second summer I came to America, washing dishes in a Japanese restaurant. Hard work, right? You gotta earn money, give all the money to your parents. I didn't even think twice about, about you know, keeping the money. Uh, but I love the job, right? Actually, I learned a lot during that three years of, of not three years, three months of, of washing dishes. I learned uh, cooking uh, some Japanese dishes, for example, right? I, I still boast about it with, with my girls now these days, right? But it's only three months of work. So um, I worked as, uh, uh, with my family as a, uh, a janitorial uh, uh, job, right? Three hours every night, right? Three hours every night, you know, on top of homework and everything. I didn't think much about that at that time. Actually, I, I, I had a good time, right? Yeah, with my parents and with my two other uh, brothers. Um, when I then uh, I went to high school in San Diego. I'm waiting for the slides, but all right, I, I think I remember what I what I put to the slides. Um, then um, rapid fire, right? One thing that I I, I I would remember that I want to share with you guys during high school is I think in my sophomore year, right? My English was still pretty shaky. I was still in the ESL classes. So I went to one of these events that the school put together where counselors from uh, universities would come and talk about colleges and stuff. So there was this one presentation about uh, that people from UC Berkeley came, right? And it, it, was, it was great, right? Yeah, Berkeley, Bay Area, so I, I don't remember the details, but I was sitting down there, you know, I, so I, 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 I was born very shy. I, I think I'm still pretty shy, but you know, I, I've learned to, you know, to turn the switch so that I, I'm not shy and I can communicate with people, right? So back then, I, was, I, I looked at this presentation and in the back of my mind, I was like, wow, that's so cool. Wow. Most likely I was thinking in, in, in Vietnamese that, wow, đi học trường này đáng quá, hả? Mà I, not in a moment at that point that I, I think that I would make it to Berkeley, you know, when I was sitting back there uh, in, um, uh, in the back of that room looking at those counselors. Um, Fast forward a few years, I actually went to Berkeley, right? It was, it was a great experience. Um, and then I, I, I was one of the rare people that just stayed in one school throughout, throughout their career, right? I got my bachelor, master, and PhD in physics at Berkeley. Um, then, um, one more experience I want to I share with you guys uh, there is that also when I first came to Berkeley, I was still pretty shy, right? Um, and I, I was sitting in, in the back of a, in the classroom, and I see the professors teaching the TA, uh, uh, teaching the classes, right? And again, in, the, in, in my mind, I was thinking, wow, yeah, I've always wanted to be a professor. I've always wanted to do science, right? But I was sitting there, and I realized that, wow, you're gonna use a lot of English if you're gonna be teaching people, right? So again, in my mind, I can't imagine yet that I'll be you know, on the other side of the podium. Right? Teaching students, communicating in English, and all of that. Right? So again, fast forward a couple years. Um, so I did my postdoc at Caltech, and right now I'm a, 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 my official title is Assistant Professor of Research at USC, right, right here, right? Go Trojans. Um, and uh, small pictures that you see there, uh, I'm pretty proud of that. Those are two, two of the, my, my first two students at USC that I've mentored. And, uh, uh, last May, that was their graduation pictures. So I was at, at the graduation. So they're, they're getting the PhDs. One of them is have a few more months to finish. The other one is going to be uh, working at Google, right? So so that's great. Throughout these years, I've been a. Uh, 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 I started as a uh, uh, member of the Phật Tử, Chánh Kiến at San Diego, right? And then um, I'll tell you guys more about you know, the, the big support from the whole community has got me through uh, uh, all of this. Uh, next slide, please. Very quickly. Why I got into research? Um, so as an academic professor, I am able to free to pursue what I what, what I think are important questions in research. Right? So that's that's very nice, right? That's for me. That's a lot of uh, personal satisfaction. It's also very tough because then you go you got to get get out there and convince people that what you think uh, that's cool is actually you can convince people, right? So that's hard, but for me, I, I, I like that a lot. The thrill of discovery, right? You can discover things for the first time ever, right? That, 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 in this whole world, that, that's pretty awesome. I like working with students, because seeing students growing and learning, you know, for me, that's, that's a great satisfaction, and all together, this is, allows me to feel that I can contribute to the next generation. Next slide, please. 
very quickly here. So this is, a, um, you know, the, the committee asked me to put these, these points down, so I thought about these are things that I thought for myself, but also for, I, I guess, for, for to share with everyone here, is that for you guys, you know, you guys are like choosing your major, your career, and all of that right, in the next few years. I think very important to, to think about this is that you're going to have success when you can overlap what you're good at with what society out there needs. Okay? you got to have both of those. You can't just say, oh, I love to do whatever. Right? I, you know, I used to say that I love to play video games, but actually these days you, you can make a lot of money playing good video games. I can ủng hộ và động viên với em. Okay, one last anecdote that I, I want to share is these days sometimes I watch via uh, uh, movies with my kids, right? And after the movie, there'll be the scroll of the credits, right? And we have a little game that we look for Vietnamese last names in the credits of these movies. And you guys are laughing because you know it's hard to find a Vietnamese name, right? So I am hy vọng, I muốn là tất nhiên bác sĩ, kỹ sư, giáo sư rất là tốt. À, cái đó không có gì thì không có sai hết nhưng mà em muốn rằng 10 năm nữa, 20 năm nữa chúng ta coi phim mình thấy một cái phim mình thấy ô oh, Nguyễn nè, Trần nè, Maybe Trương nè, à, rồi Nguyễn rồi à, Lê rồi nọ lúc đó thì cộng đồng mình mới thật sự thành công tại vì mình đã gọi là phát triển không phải chỉ trong những cái cái, cái chuyên môn không mà về văn hóa về về về, về nghệ thuật nữa. So hi, my name is Daniel Đình Quỳnh, uh, Pháp danh Minh Phúc. I am the huynh trưởng phòng danh ở phòng công chứng sở. Uh, this is actually my first year teaching, so hopefully this offers you guys a fresh perspective on how to enter the profession, right? So a little bit background of my education. I pursued mechanical engineering at UCI for my uh, bachelor's in science, and after that I graduated, I came back to finish my master's in education and got my single subjects teaching credential in that same year. And I'm currently teaching earth science and physics at Bolson Grounding High School. And I've been a part of Yadam Fak for 17 years. So 2001, some of you guys weren't even born yet. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this is the big question that all my friends seem to ask me because I became or I started as an engineer and now I'm a teacher. So my decision to become a teacher. I joke around a lot that, you know what, I became a teacher because of a quarter-life crisis. You know, I was feeling sad one day, and I was crying, and you know what, teaching is good. But, but in truth, in truth, teaching, I felt like it was second nature to me. And I knew that I wanted to empower students and to guide students to make sure that they will one day become productive citizens and become better people once they leave the school. And with that mindset, I had my core values, and I wanted to act upon those core values, and surprisingly, that became my teaching philosophy. So I believe that all of us, students, parents, adults, human beings, we are all different. We are all of unique qualities and traits that make us stand out. And I want to empower students and let them know that, you know what, that should be a strength and not something to hold you back. And once I empower them to believe that, then they will be open to learn and grow as a human being because, you know what, it's okay to be different. And that is a key message that I want to inspire and I guess dig into my student's head that, you know what, be yourself because it is okay. And the final takeaway of all this in my first year experience of teaching is that teaching is not easy, all right? It is it's not guaranteed that every day will be a good day and the job demands a lot of patience and self-reflection and hard work and sacrifice. But at the end of the day, I realized that this job is more than just you. Right? It's not just about you, it's about all the students that you have, you're putting them on your shoulders and you are carrying them through. And with that message, um, I believe that if I can change the students and if I can have that much of an impact on their lives, then that's why I'm so happy to come in every single day to work and put a smile on my face. And this is the quote that I want you guys to take away from my speech is that be the change you want to see in the world. All right? Yeah, uh, uh, open your eyes and uh, just look around, smile to your friend, and that's all my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I think we're going to have to see you in the talk. 
Um, really quickly, is, uh, uh, my name is Mark Xuân Phé and I'm uh, Pháp Gia Mẹ Tâm Thường Đỉnh. I am Hương Trưởng at uh, Gia Đình Phụ Đức Kim Quang in Sacramento. And um, I have been teaching for 17 years now uh, in high school. Uh, before that, I taught four years at UC Davis as a TA. And, and right now, it's not only I teaching the chemistry, but also teaching the teachers how to become a teachers. And also bringing meditation and mindfulness into uh, the school throughout the state of California, as well as um, the Buddhist chaplain in uh, Fosdom State Prison. And believe it or not, but when I was Daniel, my very first year, and I look at the corner on the, the side for me, wise, protect your eyes, there were students. His name was Krista. And he came out of the closet. His mom accepted him. He dared did not. He ended up harming himself. And unfortunately, he's not the first person who killed himself. But I have five like that. And the practice of mindfulness, of meditation, of the thing I love in Yadav Hukta, help me overcome many, many hurdles. And I promised to myself that I don't want to lose any of those kids. One of my, those students could be anybody in here today. Like him, like Kevin, like Eric, like me. But the fact is they're no longer here. Your life is so short, as short as ways one breath away. If you take in breath and out breath, and you don't, you pass away. I see that with my mom. She slowly exhales, and she never inhales again. And my mom always say this, một ngày mẹ sống, một ngày mẹ chết. A day I live in life, is also a day I die in life. The question here is, what do you do with this time in between? from point A to point C. I mean, I'm humanized. We, you know, almost, I mean, here almost 40s, I'm over 40s, I'm over the homes now. You know, and that's the mentality. What can we do in these particular times? These programs, our goal is only three to five years, and after that, we pass on to you guys, next generation, and that's the mentality, right? So anyway, really quickly, is, is, is I can go on and talk all those things. But doesn't, this one doesn't have any meaning whatsoever. It's go back to Bode. This Bode Tam. That Bode Foundation is this. Cái tâm ban đầu is the mind, the beginning mind, the beginning heart. And that's the beautiful things that we like to do. Buddha is the Buddha to be. And we all, Buddha is already here. We want to be like him. We all have the capacity to do that. If you want to walk to the Buddha, Everything that we do is based on the foundation of compassion, of wisdom, of courage. And that's where we're coming from, the Yadam from the Here we have Buddha M Foundation, we have Buddha Academies, we also incorporate the IMF programs into creative mindfulness after school program. They have been made to two the after school program. These are the stepping stones, right? So long story short, I would like to point out three things if I can. It is be a role model, it's kind of like a thumb down. Be a role model. Uh, and that's the mentality. You are the catalyst of change. That's all this. Think globally, act locally. That's as simple as that. Right? And it's all about this. It's all education, education, and education. I came to this country when I was 15 years old from Vietnam. And my brother, he passed away. But since the little kid from your age, 15 years old, and I can meet somebody right now, I can do it, you can do it too. And you can do much better than me. Because the fact when I'm 15 years old, I don't even know a thing. I don't really say no how to say sorry. When I come into somebody, I say excuse me. But my English is so bad, so I kiss me. <laughs> right? And that's the reality. The reality here is, if I can do it, you can do it too. So long story short, I know it's time. So I would like you guys to do it this. Go home, hug your mommies, love your dead mom. That's your message tonight. All I want you to go home, put your soul straight, neat. Before you go to school, bow down to the Buddha, bow down to Bang Thơ, Ông Bà Mình. You do it before, and before you go to school, and before you go to bed. If that's something that you can do. If you think you can do, please close your eyes, 
and raise it slowly. If you think you can go home and put your soup tonight, meet and strain it, raise your hand. Miss Angel Nguyen to come up to the front and give a little bit of information about what it is your exhibition or your exhibit is about. And what I is is um, normally people they get allergic about the painting. Your loved ones and the one you owe your life to 
are your parents are the ones who give you love. So you give them all you can, and whatever they ask, I think it would be just you know just so that you can fit together in a family. And I know you always hear be yourself and be happy, but ask yourself what is it. To be happy in within the Vietnamese culture to be a bridge. So, if you want to know more about history, about the people, about the land where your parents come from, about the mentality in general, or about the detail of what happened in 1975 that your family has has to come here, or what are where are the Vietnamese people who are living in all over the world right now? Like India, they also have the government there and you know part of colonialism, colonialization. And now Vietnam, are we really a country in just Vietnam, the small little west? And it's Vietnamese are all over the world, but some people speak French. Some people speak English, some people speak Arabian. What is the common denominator for all? It's the Vietnamese culture and the love for the people and the love for your family and you try to preserve that culture. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. So, mình tên là Trương Viết Thái thì là mình là được uh, uh, hiệp uh, mời đến đây hôm nay để chia sẻ với cái, cái kinh nghiệm mình là trong cái uh, trong cái ngành giáo dục uh, thì mình hiện giờ là đang uh, đang là uh, giáo sư dạy học ở USC và hồi xưa là sinh hoạt trong gia đình Phật tử của uh, Chánh Kiến xong rồi Hoa Nghiêm ở San Diego uh, thì bây giờ hôm nay mình đến đây là rất muốn là có cái uh, có cái cơ hội rất là rất là tâm đắc là có cái cơ hội này muốn chia sẻ kinh nghiệm của mình với những uh, con cháu sau này uh, đi uh, đi đang đang bây giờ đang lớn lên và đang bắt đầu uh, chọn ngành chọn trường đại học uh, thì mình hy vọng là mình có thể giúp cho mấy em uh, quyết định được uh, đúng đắn hơn và có thấy được tất cả những cái gì mà uh, nó 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 họ có nó có thể lựa chọn được trong tương lai uh, xin hết Hi my name is Wee um, I'm a software developer um, for um, a company called um, Capital Group and um, I'm here with um, um, the, our first um, annual ever, um, the Bodhi program, to um, 
uh, as a mentor to provide internship um, um, uh, help and um, to provide uh, guidance for the younger generations um, so that um, you know they have a, 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 um, um, a little window into the real world so that they know um, um, so that they can take advantage of it and um, uh, you know take um, the next step in their career um, and it's it, you know it's going to be a, a long path for them and um, I hope that this program and um, my uh, contribution to the community to the Buddhist community that um, uh, I hope that my contributions to um, would get them um, ahead of their peers and take the next step and um, make the transition much smoother for them in the real world um, so um, that's all I've got. Thank you.